Welcome to our lesson about symmetric mates. In my graphic area, I've got a base and two independently moving cylindrical parts. What I want to accomplish is to make these parts move together. And to do that, I'm going to use symmetric mates. Let's begin by activating the mate tool. Now scroll down the property manager and expand the advanced mates section. Let's choose the symmetric mate option. First thing to do is select the entities to mate. I'm going to select this vertex and this vertex. Next, we select a symmetry plane. Let's click in the selection window to activate it. And let's use the right plane. Let's click OK and cancel out of the mate property manager. Now if I move one part, the second part moves symmetrically. Now in some cases, when you try to apply this mate, you might get a warning, something like this, the points are not equidistant from the plane. Let's learn how to solve this problem in case you get such an error message that prevents you from achieving the result you're looking for. Let's go ahead and delete symmetric mate one. Right click, delete. Now let's apply a coincident mate. I'll select this edge and this edge. Select coincident and click OK. Now our mating points are equidistant to the symmetry plane. Let's go back to the advanced mate section, activate the symmetric mate again, and let's select this vertex and this vertex. The symmetry plane now, again we'll use the right plane. OK, and cancel out of the property manager. Now when I try to move my part, it's just not going to happen. What we need to do is suppress that coincident mate. Let's right click and suppress coincident three, and now we're able to move the parts. And this concludes our lesson about using symmetric mates.